I recently picked this up. It's a hologram LED fan, or at least that's what the box would tell you. In reality, it's not a hologram, it's not a fan, although it does have lots of LEDs, and those LEDs do this. Now, I'd better just turn it away for a second, because if you're susceptible to flashing images, you probably shouldn't watch the rest of this video, but if you want to remain, this thing is using all those LEDs, spinning them around very quickly and producing an image which the eye sees with the persistence of vision. Now, on a camera, it doesn't look quite as good as it does with the naked eye. You might notice a kind of propeller effect in the middle of the image spinning around. That's not something you tend to see with your eye, although, of course, it probably would be there. It's just your eye tends to tune it out. I've tried to get it to look as good on camera as I can, but it's not quite perfect. So it would look better in person than it does here. However, you get a pretty good idea of how it works. Now, you might have noticed at the start of my videos for the last, um, I think six years now, I have a, a persistence of vision effect on the logo at the intro. Now over the years, those, uh, these things have improved quite considerably. When I started off, it was a single color LED and then they went to multicolor ones. But uh, this one, of course, RGB LEDs, presumably able to produce this image. Really quite impressive. It's not a hologram though, and it's not really a fan, although, you can hear it going around. It does sound a little bit like one, but it is cool and it does produce images that seem to hover in mid-air. So really quite an impressive effect. And over the years, I've kept my eye on these because they've been out for a while and I've been waiting for them to come down in price. This one cost me £100. And I'll show you what you get inside the box, how you go about changing the images, because these are all the images that come with it as demonstrations, really. Um, but you can put your own on. The idea is to use it for advertising and things and to keep it out of the way of someone's hands. You're not really supposed to be holding it like this. It's supposed to be up on a wall somewhere where no one can touch it because the thing spinning around on the front of here, if I was to touch this, I'm pretty sure it would break my fingers. It's going at some rate of knots and it's not particularly lightweight. It's not even like a, a fan blade that might deform. This thing is a hard piece of plastic. So yeah, a um, very interesting idea for a device and no doubt these things will improve in time as well. But at the moment, for £100, this one is really quite impressive. I'll put it a bit nearer to the camera and you better make out the individual LEDs as they're uh, going around there drawing the picture. So yeah, that's uh, it's an interesting object. Let's get on with it. I'll show you how you go about setting it up, which takes about 0 seconds. You just have to screw it to a wall. And I'll also show you the software as well, which is a little bit janky. And then you can decide whether or not you want to buy one of these things. And if you do, of course, I'll have affiliated links in the video description text box. So let's get on with it. Now, I've really got to apologise for talking in circles and repeating myself there. It's just a little bit hard to concentrate when you've got something in your hand that could cause you damage, or at least I assume it could. Let's not find out. But it gave you a bit more chance to look at some of those animations anyway. Looking inside the box, we've got a micro SD card reader here. A bit cheap and nasty, but it does work. The next thing is the user manual. The language in here is just English, although I presume they provide different languages depending upon which country they ship the box to. There's not too much to read in there though anyway. Now this is a travel adapter, the kind that they just bung in these boxes whenever they send things over to the UK. I do not recommend using one of those. If you've seen Big Clive's video about these, you'll know why. They are dangerous. They're badly put together. They don't have some of the safety features that you need in them. This is a proper one that I've got in the left hand here, bought from a shop in the UK. You'll notice also it's got a fuse in the bottom there as well. So yes, definitely don't use the one that came inside the box. I suppose I've just got to trust that this power adapter is going to work fine, fingers crossed. 12 volt, 36 watts, multi-voltage, comes with quite a short power lead on that one. You switch it on with this little remote control, it's an RF remote, hence the aerial on the top. And then finally we've got the main event, the hologram fan in inverted commas, the persistence of vision machine, the advertising rotating device. I don't know what you'd really call it to be accurate. So we'll just stick with hologram fan, even though we know we're not being accurate. Metal base on here, rest of it is plastic, quite some weight to it though. You'll see at the top here, that's where the micro SD card goes in. So that holds the animations that are going to display on the device, as well as the software that you put onto a Windows PC to create those animations, or at least convert other things into them. You notice I've got a bit of a bulge on the end of this. I was thinking, oh, it's broken, but no, it just clicks together. They're not the most well put together things, these quite basic 
but you know you get what you pay for i suppose pay more you get a much better quality one than this you can see all the little tiny leds all along the length of that strip in the middle there and i'm glad it came with some demo animations on that micro sd card because it means you can just plug it in press the on button on the remote control and it will come straight on and you can see it in action it would be a shame if you had to make up your own animations straight away so yeah good to see that it's all working now let me talk about making up your own animations or images to display on that micro sd card so you take it out put it in the adapter or your own adapter plug it into a windows pc and have a look on the card you'll see all the bin files on there those are the animations now there are a lot of different ones on there you could just create one large bin file with a number of animations within it though but those are all individual ones that just play in random order i think the software you need to run to create images to display on the device is at the top there, software.rar. Of course, you need to expand that out. Also, keep a backup of it somewhere, because at the moment, it's only on the micro SD card. Once you've expanded it, though, you get this folder. I don't know how much I can trust this software, though, and they can't even spell the word software. I wouldn't recommend putting this on one of your main machines. I've just got no idea as to where it's come from. But if we look at the software once we've run it, at the top of the screen there, from left to right, we can create our own image. We can import an image. We can import a video or import an animated gif and then once you've done that you download it to the micro sd card as a bin file i wouldn't bother using the art creation program that's built into this because it's so basic as to be almost unusable you're better off converting an image that you've made in another piece of software here i've got a gif as you can see we've got the circle around it which would show how much of this would show on screen on the device you can zoom in so you get less background or you can zoom out but then you get more of the white background in this case we'll have a look how that looks later on but then it starts converting it frame by frame and at this point you could just write this as a file to the micro sd card just as a, a one video file so that one would just play over and over again but we'll make up a little bit of a playlist here so i've got three videos you can see on the right hand side there now we've got a, a globe and uh, the one at the bottom and another one at the top which you'll see in a minute and then above there we've got picture list if we go into that we've got another three pictures to show two that look pretty similar in here but they do look different on the device and then the old test card from the uk and you can choose how long you want each of these images to remain on screen for the videos show for a set amount of time the file that gets created on the micro sd card is called z1.bin it's always called that so if you want to put multiple ones on there rename them once you put them on there and it'll just play through them one after the other i'm going to put this device up on the wall now using the provided bracket i notice the screws that come with this are a little bit short though so i've substituted in some of my own which will give it a much more secure fit okay so i'll put the bracket on the wall here and it's at this height though just so that the device can be in shot while i'm talking about it in reality you'd have this way up out of the way of anyone's fingers so it just slides on top of there very easily now there is a screw that you can put into there to hold it in place i suppose a bit of a security measure in case you were concerned about anyone removing it this device though is only really supposed to be used indoors it isn't water resistant i've got to say even at this height the power lead that's supplied does not reach the floor it gets down to about where my knee is so you need to ideally have a plug socket somewhere near it or use an extension lead you can use it outside i believe there's some kind of waterproof cover or caroling for this uh, and that would probably be the ideal location to have one of these uh, to attract people to a store for example if you had it on the wall inside a store well people are already there aren't they so then you've just got it there for the sake of it i suppose you could have adverts though and different logos and things i'm going to plug it into this power supply here though now that i've been holding between my knees uh, so there we go hopefully that doesn't unplug itself i do like the remote control idea though being able to switch it on even when it is up and out of the way and uh we'll just turn it on there though now you'll notice it orient orientates itself but it's just doing that based upon the position of the part at the back it isn't uh, it isn't doing it based on which way up you put it so if i twisted it around this image would twist around uh, and i think i've got it at a slight angle there it does seem to be a bit of a slant on these things now this was one of the built-in images i've just put that one there as a demonstration and then this of course is one of mine notice the white background on here white backgrounds don't really work very well much better with a clear background like this where you can see the wall behind it in this case it's a much more interesting effect on there round images are good as well if you get a square image a square video and crop the top and bottom off like this not as pleasing an effect and of course this would be better with a black background a globe ideal i got this gif gif off wikipedia 
and it says this one has got 300 images in it and it takes 30 seconds so you can work that out 10 frames per second for that then and as far as the resolution goes according to the manual here this thing has 224 leds and it says it does a resolution of 450 by 224 so I was just trying to sort of figure out how that works with 224 LEDs. I suppose they're including the persistence of vision effect there. Again, I can notice on the monitor I've got on top of the camera here, you can see this kind of propeller effect, perhaps not as much on this one, on the globe one, in the middle, spinning around. It looks like it's kind of three or four blades spinning in the middle there. Uh, yeah, you can see it here going around the outside. I can't see that looking at it here. It isn't there, but I can see it on the camera. So bear that in mind. You don't get that kind of effect with it in real life. It's just uh, down to the uh, frame rates and things. But yeah, an interesting idea for a product. I'm not too sure how much use it would be to your average person. But if you are interested in getting hold of one of these, uh, perhaps just to display some logos on, really bright, colourful images are the best things to display on this then uh, I'll put some links in the video description text box. I say it cost me £100 to get this one imported to the UK from China. There are a variety of different models available. There's some with uh, four blades on there. I'm guessing those do a high resolution, but also perhaps the refresh rate is a little bit quicker as well. But they do cost a lot more than this one. They're more than double the amount. So you're getting twice the amount of blades, but you're paying like three or four times as much. So this was a good one to try out. Hope you've enjoyed having a look at it here today. But but that's it for the moment. As always, thanks for watching.